This is a brand new VLO R Plus One and it's probably the most radical new road bike I'm going to show you guys this year. I mean, it's an awesome looking bike, isn't it? So in this video, we're going to go through all the tech details on it, I'm going to speak to the people behind the brand and I'm going to go for a ride and see how it performs to so make sure you keep watching for all of that. Also on my channel, there'll be a separate in-depth video with the people behind this bike. So make sure you check that out if you want to know more about the yellow and the new R plus one. But now let's dive into the bike and take a closer look. Before we get into ride impressions, let's back up a bit and get into what makes this bike so special. The R Plus One delivers a striking presence. If ever you want a vision of the future road bike today, this is arguably it. Your eye is drawn naturally to flat top seat stays, easy to dwell on them before the sculpted down tube carries your gaze to an hourglass head tube and to the company's own one-piece carbon handbar. Then you notice a complete lack of cables. The packaging on this bike is very impressive. Even the lower end mechanical bike retains its clean appearance. The lack of loud graphics and logos is refreshingly simple. The colours, not to everyone's taste perhaps, are a million miles away from the corporate pro race rulebook that most other bike brands faithfully follow. The all black drivetrain, from the custom chainring to the black chain, lets the frame and fork really stand out. No chrome and bling to distract your eye. The frame is the centre of the show here. And what a frame. Developed off the back of the company's first model, the V Plus One, an all-road gravel bike launched just as roadies were daring to take their cities off-road, it's brimming with modern features. It's disc brakes only and has been designed and optimised around a one by drivetrain for better stiffness and aero according to the company and benefits from the progress group set manufacturers are making in this arena. Shimano with GRX, Campag with Eka and SRAM with its wide range cassettes. Wide tyres are key to the bike as well, recognising the growing demand from cyclists for increased comfort from their performance road bikes where roads are far from perfect. The R Plus One accommodates up to 32mm wide tyres, more than generous enough for most people. The frame weighs a claimed 900 grams for the top end model I'm riding and only supports SRAM's ETAP wireless group set. The more affordable Strato sees a weight increase to about 1100 grams, but a support for mechanical group sets via a regular two-piece handbar and stem. The fit and finish is extremely good, with a high level of attention to detail on clear display. Proving you should never judge a bike by its looks alone, the R Plus One provides a splendid first ride impression on the rolling roads north of Newcastle, the very roads the bike was born and developed on. One ride on the bike does not make a review of course, but a first impressions always count for a lot, and those impressions are one of an absolutely dialed bike. It helps that it fits me not just well, but perfectly. My hands fall nicely onto a one-piece carbon handlebar, the hoods are just where I want them. But the biggest impression is the overwhelming sense of speed. This bike is really fast and it's so easy to ride fast as well. The bike responds well to my desire to get up to speed quickly. It's snappy from low speeds and builds pace with urgency. But all the time you're pushing as hard as you can on the pedals, the bike is calm and composed. It's not easily flustered by the rough roads either. You might not be able to see the distinctive seat stays when you're riding, but you can certainly feel the bike doing a superb job of soaking up some of the bigger cracks and holes in the road, giving a silky smooth ride. But you feel connected to the road too. It rides beautifully through the corners and sweeping bends, a very engaging ride. The SRAM ETAP group set maneuvers the chain smoothly across a new 1036 wide cassette. The brakes are powerful with a nice lever feel and not a hint of rub or noise. The fabric saddle fits me well and the Schwabby Pro 1 tires are as grippy as limpets but roll with seemingly no resistance. So in summary then, this is a modern twist on a classic road bike with all the latest technology utilized to deliver a bike that offers a calm and pacey ride quality that many cyclists seek in a road bike. It certainly won't be for everyone, 
too radical for some taste for sure, but those prepared to look past convention, the R Plus One is an interesting and exciting choice in a saturated market of lookalike carbon road bikes. So that has been the brand new Vielo R Plus One. If you have any questions about this bike, put them in the comment section down below and I'll do my best to answer them. But that's all for now. Make sure you keep liking, keep subscribing and keep watching and I'll see you all again in the next video.